my beauties, we are here today for our reading lesson, and we're sticking with nonfiction today. And we're gonna read about baby rabbits. Who doesn't like baby rabbits? Super cute baby rabbits is our title today. I want you to pay close attention to the title because the title is our strategy today and our goal. How does a title support an author's book? And that is going to be important today when we have writing workshop. Don't eat that. Anywho, today we're going to read Baby Rabbits. And the title is going to help us think, what is this book all about? Probably Baby Rabbits. And I know that you guys will be excited because this book has a quiz at the end. So a little bit different today, but that's okay. Here we go. Baby Rabbits. Super cute baby rabbits. In this book, we're going to see that what rabbits can do, maybe where they live, maybe we'll find out what happens um, when they're born. So let's dive on in, my beauties. Look to the side of the book, and here we go. And if you notice, there's a table of contents, and it tells us what we can learn on each page. Um, so let's dive on into this book. Baby rabbits are called kids. Some live in the wild. Others are pets. Did you know baby rabbits are called kids? I didn't know that. I learned something new today. Oh, that's a so cute baby rabbit. Life in the litter. Kids are born in litters. One litter can have more than 10 kids. So kids, remember, are baby rabbits. So baby rabbits can be born with 10 brothers and sisters. Young kids live in a nest or burrow. They cuddle close to stay warm. Moms come to the nest to nurse her kids. Nurse, what do you think that means? Nurse means provide milk. Out of the nest, Older kids hop around outside the nets. When they get a little bit older, they start to hop like a bunny, bunny, bunny hop. They munch on flowers and grass. Hey, this gives us what bunnies eat, or kits. Flowers and grass. Kids shed a lot of hair. They take time to fluff their fur. And if you notice, there's a bold word right there, shed. And sometimes authors write words in bold because, remember, they can have the definition or what it means at the end of the book in the glossary. Shed means it falls off. Kids stand on their back legs when they are curious. What's curious mean? Hmm. Sometimes they leap into the air. This joyful jump is called a binky. Hey, I'm learning so many new things today, are you? And we have our glossary. Look at that. Burrow, curious, interested in learning, litters, groups of babies, nurse, to feed babies milk. And we have that. Awesome job, guys. Are you ready for the quiz? Here we go. You ready for the quiz? I am. Let's get it. Baby rabbits are called what? Kids, kids, chicks, or pups? Which one do you think? If you said kids, you are correct. Next question. Rabbits live in a hole or tunnel called a ditch, a burrow, a shed, or a valley. Which one? If you said burrow, you are correct. Next question. A group of baby rabbits is called a pride, a litter, a herd, or a flock. If you said litter, you are correct. Number four. Why do baby rabbits often do when they are curious? Ooh. Do they run? Do they stand on their back legs? Do they blink? Or do they roll over? Which one was in the book? Stand on their back legs, correct. And the last melon, what word is another name for a rabbit's joyful jump? This word was funny, gallop, 
Binky, dash or bite? If you said Binky, you are correct. <laughs> ah, yay! yay! Got a candy! Awesome job, guys. Today we read Baby Rabbits. And we remember that we were thinking about that goal, that strategy, using that title. What information did the title give us that the book was all going to be about? That's right, baby rabbits. So the book taught us lots of information, like where baby rabbits live, what they're called, what they eat, what they do when they're curious. All about books teach us so much information. And you're going to need that information and that title in your book, too. So thanks for reading with me. I hope you learned a lot of cool things about rabbits. I know I did. All right, guys. Stay beauties. I hope you enjoyed this story. Bye.